Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asan, and today we are going to work on contact form 7. And we will retract contact form 7 after form submission based on value selected by user from radio button. Before starting work, it's my request. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. So on left side, you see plugin. So click on add new. So we are going to install plugin. In search plugin, write insert adder and footer. So this is plugin insert address and footer code snippet by WP code. So click on install now and then click on activate it. So plugin is activated now. So we will add JavaScript code. So on left side you see code snippet and then you see adder and footer. So click on it. So we will add JavaScript code in footer section here. So this is our form and we will add radio button. So go to contact form. So this is form contact form 1. So add radio button here. So here you see radio button. So click on it. So name. So you can add your name here. And you can add option according to your requirement. And here you see id attribute. So add id attribute. Because we will use this id in javascript code. So add some id. Menu radio. So this is id. Menu radio. So you can add id name according to your requirement. And now add option here. Apple or check. So this is our tag. Copy this tag. And paste here. So I am removing default one. So this is radio, radio 899, this is our id menu radio and this is our paypal and check option. So click on save. So you can add more option according to your requirement. And now go to form and refresh the page. So this is our radio button paypal and check. So we will add redirection on each button. We will add redirection on paypal and also we will add redirection on check. So back to header and footer section. So this is footer. So we will add JavaScript. So paste code here for redirection. So this is code. And you will find this code in video description or in comment section. Now you see skip start in footer section. This is our variable redirect. And this is our window dot open. So you can add your link here after when someone select paypal then it will redirect to this link and this is blank so window open in new tab and scroll down here you see input variable so you can change variable according to your requirement and now you see document dot query selector this is body and this is id menu radio so go to form and here you see menu radio so this is id we added so you can add id name according to your requirement so i added menu radio and in javascript i added menu radio with hash this is body and this is our id menu radio and this is hash input name radio 203 so go to form and our radio is 899 so copy this and add here so you can add your radio then you see value paypal go to form again here you see paypal so copy this and add here in value section paypal so you see if input so this input variable same with this input and now you see input dot add event listener change so you can use click attribute also event event or target value also here you see redirect document dot add even listener wpcf 7 mail send redirect scroll up you see redirect so this value will be same for both redirect so when we select paypal then it will redirect to web shop page so you can add your shop page here and you will find this code in video description this is just for paypal so we will add another skip code for check 
now click on save changes so setting is saved and now go to form refresh the page now you see select payment method so select paypal so we added javascript code for paypal only so fill the form so form is filled now and then click on submit and now it open shop page this link we added here on window dot open web shop page and also on form page you see thank you for your message it has been sent so this way you can add redirection for radio button after form submission now we will add javascript code for check button so go to header footer section again so we will add code here currently we added code for paypal only here you see paypal now paste code for check radio button this is code for radio check button and you will find this code in video description or in comment section here you see input 1 variable input 1 for paypal we use input for check we use input 1 and then you see body menu radio id this is id and now radio 899 so paste here and you see value check so this is check value copy and paste here and now you see if input 1 so we change constant input 1 so added here input 1 and here you see redirect one document dot add even listener redirect one for both and this value will be same for this so redirect one when someone select check radio button then redirect one call and window open or form redirection to this page and then click on save changes and now go to form and refresh the page so select payment method check fill the form again and click on submit so here you see web page open and form submission done it's open in same tab because in code we don't add it blank attribute in link like here so we will add now so we will copy and replace here and change link so now when someone select check then it open in new tab also click on save changes now go to form so form is open now again select check method and fill the form again and click on submit so form submission done here you see thank you for your message it has been sent and now it's open home page so go to header footer section again and you will find this all code in video description or in comment section you can add link here so this input if you want to add more value so copy this i will show you so copy this whole code and paste here so let's say you want to change check value to stripe and now you can change this redirect one to redirect two also change here redirect two and here you see input one so change input one to input two because input one is already exist in code so change also here input one to two and here input one so you can change input two here so here you see redirect two so redirect two and redirect two so you can change value of input to input to here and also input to here and then click on save changes so in this way you can add multiple code for multiple radio button so go to form again and here you see id menu radio so you can add id here and this id we will use in javascript code so currently we added two value paypal and check so you can add multiple javascript code according to your radio button values and you will find this code in video description or in comment section so just replace 
this redirect variable in code and also this input variable in code and the place value here according to your radio button and then click on save changes so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching